Hello friends, welcome to BSV Solution. My name is Lokesh Gandhi. In today's session, we are going to create standard operation in Oracle Fusion Supply Chain Management manufacturing application. The manufacturing standard operations are step-by-step -step work instructions that guide operator through a task. And the main goal of the setting up a standard operation is to structure and standardize the way in which the work is done and the accurate and easy to follow the standard operation, it's help to increase the efficiency and the safety of operation, right? And the standard operation play a vital role. And you can say it is a very important because they unify, unify the way in which the different operations do the same task. And when the operator work in standard in standardized way, the quality and the speed of work are met consistent. Right. The standard operation commonly used operation to define a template to use in work definition as well as in the work order. And the standard operation code, the standard operation code unify the identity. You can uniquely identify a standard operation and it is a plant specific, right? And the standard operation can be defined for in-house and supplier operation. So let's move on to the application and we'll see how to create a standard operation in Oracle Fusion Supply Chain Management manufacturing application. So this is our application. So click on this navigator. And uh, go to the supply chain execution and click on this work definition. So this is our work definition and uh, we are on the manufacturing organization 002, but uh, this is not our organization. So let's change it. So we are going to select our organization, which is 001. Okay. So now we are on the, our organization, manufacturing organization, right? So click on this task list and we have the option manage standard operations let's click on that and we are going to create new one so click on this create icon right so on the standard operation page create a standard operation page we have the option called operation type so we have a two type of operation type uh, one is in-house and one is supplier. So right now we are going to take in-house and uh, we have to insert the name for this standard operation. So let's enter data. Data operation. In the same way, you can define the code. Right. And you can insert the description also, right? So this is a unique code and uh, you cannot update when the standard operation is used in the work definition or in the work order, right? And we have the work center. So we have to select the active work center and you want to associate this work center to this standard operation. So we have the work center we have already created in our previous session, Tata work center, right? So this is work center, work center code and work center description over here, right? Now we can select a count point, right? So the count point perform the operation and report manually. So when we select it, it generate report and uh, the operation manually. And when we select the op automatically transact 
so that the operation is report automatically, the report generate automatically. So we are going to go with the manual, right? And uh, we have a inactive date. So we can select the date on which the standard operation becomes inactive. You can select over here, right? And we can also add the attachment. We can attach either a file or a tax or a URL type, right? URL file type over here, right? And we can also select a default for automatic work definition. Right? And we have some more options like additional manual material issues and we have the completion with the open. So these are the uh, material transactions in the operations validation. You can select as per your requirement, right? Now we are going to add the resources for this standard operation. So we have already created the resources in our application in our previous session. So let's select our resource. We have already created data labor, right? And we have the unit assign, right? So the number of assigned resource unit, you cannot exceed the available unit for which the resource as defined in the work center, right? So you cannot exceed. So let's take five. And uh, we have the basis and the two type variables sort of fixed. And you can select the schedule and the principal and the charge type, right? So this is our resource and let's expand it. And uh, we have the resource code we have already created and you can select the activity, right? You can select the activity for this standard operation. So let's select there is in the liber. So this one, right? And let's click on this save and close. Right. So this is our operation dot operation. Right. So you can add it over here right now. And uh, in the same way, uh, you can create a standard operation for the uh, supplier. Let's create one more for the supplier. Right. So the operation type is supplier. You can select. And in order to select our supplier, we have our different uh, details like outsiding uh, process item. You can select this is the mandatory fields. But uh, we are going to create this one in our upcoming session, right? So let's cancel out. So this is how you can create a standard operation in Oracle Fusion Supply Chain Management Manufacturing Application. So thanks for watching this video. Thank you so much.